Having failed to meet Daenerys, Euron sails the Iron Fleet to King's Landing, answering the invitation of Cersei Lannister, the new queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Cersei proposes an allegiance between the Crown and the Ironborn, which Euron counters with an offer of marriage. Cersei declines Euron's attempt at courtship, and he departs, promising to return with a gift that will win her heart. Seeking out his promised gift for Cersei, Euron intercepts and attacks Yara's fleet, which had departed from Dragonstone and was sailing to Dawn, to consolidate the Dornish armies and fleet. The silence locks onto Black Wind with a corvus, and Euron's men board and attack Yara's and Theon's. During the ensuing battle, despite taking several wounds Euron kills Obara Sand by first disarming her, snapping her spear in half and then impaling her with the broken pieces and her sister Nymeria Sand by strangling her with her own whip. Soon afterwards, he engages in a melee with his niece and beats her, holding her at her throat with his axe. He calls for his nephew, mocking him as, little Theon, and as a, cockless coward, and implores that he come rescue her. However, Theon instead jumps overboard, leaping into the sea, which Euron sadistically laughs at. Euron then nails the body of Obara to the front of the ship and hangs Nymeria's body from the bowsprit. Theon holds onto a plank in Blackwater Bay, watching on as the silence and the rest of Euron's fleet sail away while his sister's fleet burns and sinks to the bottom of the Blackwater. The Iron Fleet returns to King's Landing where Euron parades his captives through the streets, to the amusement of the citizens. Euron delivers Alaria and Tyene to Cersei, fulfilling his promise of a gift by handing her the people responsible for her daughter's death. Cersei is pleased and, in turn, promises to grant his request of marriage after the war is won. Euron then steps away from the Iron Throne towards Jaime, deliberately provoking him about the fact that Cersei is going to marry him. Euron is eventually ordered to set sail again and leads the Iron Fleet west to Casterly Rock where he attacks and destroys the remainders of Daenerys' fleet who are besieging the rock. Euron is present in the Dragon Pit at the Parley in King's Landing sitting by Cersei. When Tyrion begins the discussion, Euron interrupts him and taunts both him and Theon. He warns that if Theon doesn't submit to him, he will kill Yara, who remains his hostage. A silence falls between the rest of the attendants due to Euron's outburst, and Jaime and Cersei order Euron to sit down or leave. After Sandor Clegane releases the white, Euron watches Jon Snow's demonstration on how to destroy it. He walks up to the white and examines it, asking Jon if they can swim. When Jon assures him they can't, Euron says, truthfully or not, how it is the only thing that terrifies him, and that he plans to sail home to the Iron Islands with the Iron Fleet. Before exiting the Dragon Pit, he jokingly advises Daenerys Targaryen to do the same on Dragonstone so that they are the only ones left after winter ends. Cersei later privately reveals to Jaime that Euron is actually on his way to Essos to ferry the Golden Company back to fight for her.